The 1400 horsepower F1 engine has been talked about extensively, and every gearhead should know by now. It was based on an ordinary M10 road car engine. What is not often mentioned is a part of the history where Ludwig Apfelberg and his incredible radial valve arrangement influenced many others and fueled BMW's entry into motorsport. It was a four-cylinder Formula 2 engine that looked like a V8, but its complexity and expense meant that it had minimal impact and a conventional head eventually killed it. A few weeks ago, a physio racer video delved into the history of the BMW M12-13 Formula 1 engine. And this segment serves as a prequel to that story. It begins again with Baron Alex von Falkenhausen, a racing driver and engineer who designed the famous 1.5 liter M10 engine in the 1960s. Besides its use in the road cars, it was also utilized in Formula 2. Thanks to the innovative technique and patented designs of Ludwig Apfelbeck, who convinced BMW's executive of its potential. Apfelbeck, always fascinated by engines, began his career modifying engines such as the Puch 500 motorcycle, doubling its top speed from 40 to 80 km power at a young age. His specialty lay in increasing engines' natural air consumption, known as volumetric efficiency. Patenting a unique valve orientation in 1935, he continued his work at BMW, Michael and KTM, returning to BMW in the late 1950s to develop a race engine for the BMW 700RS. Boosting a 30 horsepower flat twin to around 70 horsepower, he impressed the head of racing division, Baron von Falkenhausen, with his talent. In 1965, Apfelberg was tasked with developing a Formula 2 project using the M10 engine. Leveraging his expertise, he crafted a new high-flowing head featuring a unique radial valve orientation. In this arrangement, each pair of valves were diagonally positioned to face each other, with each valve turned at a 90-degree angle relative to the others. Additionally, the four valves were rotated 20 degrees to avoid interference with the stems, presenting a significant challenge in designing a rocker arm assembly to synchronize the system. The angled ports facilitated airflow in such a way that it generated a swirl effect that enhanced fuel optimization and mixture. Each intake port necessitated a separate intake runner, resulting in four runners on each side. This valve design not only optimized temperature dissipation through the head material, but also allowed for maximum enlargement of intake valves. Coupled with a long valve lift, the engine exhibited exceptional breathing capabilities at high revs. The original M10, engineered by Apfelberg as a 2 liter in 1966, utilized carburetors and was used for touring and Group 8 hill climb racing, such as the 1968 BMW G768 Monty Berg Spider. This oversquared engine boasted a redline of 9000 rpm, delivering a robust output of 260 horsepower. Subsequent enhancements, including the addition of fuel injection and flat side throttle bodies, elevated power output to 280 horsepower. It was chain driven, and looking from the top, there were 12 holes, 8 for the intake trumpets, and 4 for spar plugs. Imagine that besides the whole valve operating assembly, there still had to be head bolts. In the mid 1960s, the FIA opted to increase the displacement limit from 1 liter to 1.5 liter, aiming to bring power to Formula 2 and narrow the power gap between F2 and F1. It was during this period that BMW, prior to the establishment of its M division, 
began to actively participate in motorsport, Apfelbeck adopted the 2-liter engine to meet the new F2 regulations by reducing its cylinder volume. However, the transition to the 1.6-liter format presented challenges, as the Apfelbeck designed engine did not perform as efficiently as its 2-liter counterpart. In 1967, during the inaugural 1.6-liter F2 season, BMW faced disappointment as the car failed to achieve the expected results. Following internal disagreements, Applebeck parted ways with BMW. The company then turned to head and camshaft expert Paul Roche to lead the engine development. The F2 unit underwent significant revisions, including a decrease in valve angle and shallower combustion chamber. The most notable change was the alteration of the valve arrangement, abandoning the 90 degree positioning in favor of a conventional side by side placement. However, the valves retained their diagonal orientation, still with twin camshaft and each cam operating one intake and one exhaust valve, a configuration sometimes referred to as a diametral four valve. With Lucas fuel injection, the engine achieved a peak power output of 225 horsepower at 9,500 RPM. This translated to an impressive 140 horsepower per liter. This engine, known as the M11, served as a precursor to the renowned M12 race engine series. Initially installed in the Lola T102 chassis, it later found a home in the BMW 269, a car developed by the Germans themselves. By the end of the season, the engine output increased to 252 horsepower at 10,700 rpm with the implementation of Kugelfischer fuel injection and the addition of three spark plugs per cylinder. Hubert Hahn's success Securing second place in the Drivers' Championship showcased the engine's performance. Featuring a total of 8 intake trumpets, 4 per side, the engine earned the moniker V8. However, compared to the popular F2 engines of the era, the Cosworth FVA with a much simpler 16-valve head. The M11 boasted similar power output, while innovative the Apfelbeck design had its drawbacks. The unique valve orientation necessitated a very intricate head design and a rocker arm assembly. Moreover, the wide valve angle posed additional challenges, particularly in achieving the required high compression ratio for enhanced performance. To accommodate this, piston crowns had to be enlarged significantly, resulting in increased piston weight. Additionally, the large valves adversely impacted low end torque, a drawback that could potentially have been mitigated with the variable valve control. However, integrating such technology into the already complex head design proved to be nearly impossible. Not only was the Apfelbeck design costly to manufacture, it also added considerable weight to the engine. Although Ferrari and Repco also explored the Apflex design in V8 engine configurations, these endeavors remained confined to the realm of research and development. Similarly, while BMW experimented with the design in their engines, the 1.6-liter variant struggled to fully capitalize on the benefits of the radial valve arrangement compared to its 2-liter counterpart. Ultimately, it became evident that Applebeck's engine's added complexity and cost did not justify its benefits. In 1960, Roche introduced a new engine, the M12-1 parallel feed ventilator, which departed entirely from the previous design and adopted a parallel four-valve setup like other engines on the grid. Ironically, despite the simplification, it still delivered superior torque and power. Subsequent 2 liter Formula 2 engine, known as the BMW M12 6, achieved nearly 160 horsepower per liter, totaling about 315 horsepower. This engine became the standard, supplied by BMW to Formula 2 teams until 1984. It was during this era, and with this engine, that BMW 
established its renowned motorsport M-Division. 